Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Being on the Far Side server. And today, um, we're not going to do exactly what I wanted to do the last episode when we had that whole death games introduced. We're the only one on the server, so we don't really have to do, uh, worry about that. But we do have... I'm going to be carrying these four potions on me at all times, just so that in case if someone uh, does come and attack me, I am ready for them. I can just put the... I can try running... Like, if I see them coming, uh, just throw down the splash and the speed, and then I can run downstairs and grab more potions... Um, but I can just at least throw those on to at least uh, give myself a good fight, good fighting chance. Um, but today we're going to work on this guy. Uh, we were going to work on like the sheep farm and the cow farm and stuff like that and maybe doing that a little bit better. But I still haven't decided what I want to do. Hey, welcome back. Maybe we should go check who's in the Hunger Games. No, I'm just joking. Um... But I need, I want to build like a case for this. And I have the perfect case because I've wanted to build something. And I think I was originally going to build it out there. Um, but I kind of have some really, really cool ideas. Uh, no, uh, UHC. Um, and so I want to, I have a different idea for out there. Just say your name, log out. Oh. Oh, nope was in blitz um so i have an idea of something i want to build out there so i was originally going to build the thing i'm going to build today i'm going to i was going to build it out there but i like the idea of building it in here more so that's what we're going to do we're going to um do that so ooh so i will uh i gathered some black stained clay but i need about uh six more colors of clay so i think i'm going to lay the outer edge out and i'll show you guys what we're doing so, can anybody guess what we have here so far? Hmm, it looks kind of interesting. That uh, box around it. Anyone have a guess? Well, maybe the next time I come back, you'll have a little bit of a better guess. And how about now? Hmm, you might be thinking, dude, that's just one little square. What is it? Hmm, good question. Good Whoa. Anyone? Anyone? Dealer? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone have a thought? Anyone? Hmm. Anyone? <laughs> so, yes! That's... Wait, it's not finished. Does everyone know what it is yet? Or are we still have some people that don't? Well, we got just a little bit more building for this side. If you don't already know what it is. So, I'll let you figure it out. So... If you don't know what this is yet, it's a Rubik's Cube. Now, I did think about doing the Rubik's Cube in gla stained glass so you could see through it. I thought that would probably look pretty cool. But the only problem with that is I don't have a lot of um, uh, glass. I know I have a full desert over there, but I don't have a lot of glass. So I kind of just decided to go with clay since we have that clay biome. And... I don't know. I just thought clay would look good. I'm thinking maybe, though, I will throw in uh, some glass every once in a while. Um, just randomly in each one of these. Stay in some glass and do that. I haven't decided yet, though. But uh, Or maybe even just do the black rim in glass. I don't know. But either way, we are building a Rubik's Cube today. If you didn't get that by now. <laughs> um, but it's going to engulf this whole thing. The only problem is is I haven't decided what I want to do with the draft yet. The draft, it's going straight through the draft this way. And uh, like right underneath of its leg. So I haven't decided do I leave the draft in there and have its butt sticking halfway out and its body halfway in. I don't know yet. Um, but that's a decision I'm going to have to decide on. Um, I'm kind of thinking I'm just going to leave the butt stick out. Just because I want it to stay there and I think it's cool. It's either that or tear it down. But the draft is kind of a thing now. You know, it's a thing here. So I think we're going to leave it. But this is just to um, engulf this. I wanted something to kind of... I have some design too for going underneath of this. It's going to be like a pedestal. It's going to be raising this thing up on a pedestal. It's going to be like, oh, awesome. So, um, so that's what we're going to do. 
Uh, let's let's see. We started mining this out, but then I decided, you know what? Let's just leave it like in there. Why not? Like, it looks good with it partly being like built in there. It looks like it just came out of nowhere. So we're gonna keep working on this, and uh, I'm gonna go try out some things in creative. I think just to see maybe maybe glass is what I want to do. And because uh, I, I just thought of it as I was building it, I was like, maybe stained glass would look pretty cool in this. So I might go try this out in stained glass on creative, and if it looks better, I might just implement it in that. So we'll see. So we're at She Venom and Zangief's place. Uh, I'm out of food, or not out, but getting close. Vodka says this is temporarily closed, but I have a feeling. Nice map. Ooh, very nice map. Hmm. It's a nice map. But I have a feeling I can still buy some stuff. So, one diamond for 169 steak. I'd like 169 steak. We can go back down and get this if it doesn't work. If it really is unavailable. Unavailable, but... I have a feeling... I'm going to get my steak. Yay? No? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, here it comes. Let's see what happens. Just sit here and wait and sit here and wait and... Mm-hmm. There we go. We got ourselves 169 steak. Thank you very much, Steve Venom and, and uh, uh, Zengi. I'll uh, I'll definitely be stopping by again when I get need more food. It's not. Yeah, I, I'm still gonna use it even though it says it's not available. I say it's available. Has this got thing got going yet? Nope. We'll be opening soon. That's a game Kanive has been working on, and I want to play it. So Kanive, I get with your stuff, man. Come on, I want to play. It. It's like a game called Spelunker or something he made up where you um, you booby trap a cave and people try to go through it. And it's good. it sounds like a fun game. Uh, Death Games, who's in here now? Boo and Sandy's the only one on. Who isn't in the Death Games? A Addy, Ed, Slam, Venom, Quake, Vodka, Hunter, Sand... Oh, she's not even in the games. Okay. No point in coming and checking it out. Ooh, has it been that... Man, it's been used a lot already. Woo! Already broken some stuff. Maybe lost it. Mm. Anyways, we'll uh, get back to that Rubik's Cube. Oh, my gosh. Stupid creeper plopped in my legs. <sighs> he blew up the legs of my giraffe, and he blew up my clay. Blew up some of my clay, dang dang it. Ah, oh, man, now I might really have to take him down. I think I got to. Dun, 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 dun. Silk touch him. He's coming down. Sorry, Kaniva and Sani, but the quartz, the quartz trap is coming down. Sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen this way. Dang it. Ugh. All right, now we're going to lay the draft down to peace. He is back with his home of quartz blocks of all his people. It's a sad day on the my, on the far side server. <sighs> quartz draft is no more. <laughs> oh well. Well, that Creeper decided to blow up two of my clay blocks, which is an unwanted action. I did not want that. Two of the clay blocks are now gone. That means I got to go to my base and get that one and that one. And then we can continue to build it. So there it is. The finished product. Looks good, doesn't it? Oh, it's huge. So each one of these... You guys didn't notice while I was building. Each one of these is a stack of clay. Each one of these squares. So it's a 64, um, uh, 64 block square, which is huge, awesomely huge. Gosh, this is massive. We can do a 360. Oh, and didn't quite make it in. All right, so we're going to have to make a door, and I did these evenly, um, not evenly, but as an even number. For the fact of, I guess I could say welcome back, welcome back. Um, I made these an even number of squares for the fact that I can even this with two, like that. So then it's an even two door to get into here, which, oh my gosh, is this not cool? 
Is there not? Ooh, what are you doing? What's you doing? Get out of there. Get out of there. I better make sure that. Is there not torches on the top of this thing? I swear there's torches on the top of this thing. Yeah? Okay, there are. Maybe I need to just put a couple more. There we go. Maybe one there. Maybe one there. Maybe one or like right here. Maybe one like right there. Maybe one right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. And right about there. Alright. So now we got this all torched up and lit up. Like, uh, you know what? Let's put you right there. And then you right there. There we go. Alright. So now we got this thing. Um, I think I got this right uh, color-wise for what is uh, actually physically possible on a Rubik's Cube and what isn't. Um, I know that you can't have this color and this color be the same uh, same color. These two spots be the same color on a Rubik's Cube and these two. Like None of these three right here on any of the corners could be the same color. Because if you turn the Rubik's Cube this way... This one is always going to be attached to this one. And you know what I mean? Like you can, your your Rubik's Cube, it has certain colors that are always going to be stuck on the same corner together. That's just because of the way the stickers are. It's not like you can rotate um, like just this color. If you rotate this square all the way over to there, you're going to take all three of these colors with you. So it has to be that way. Um, well, I guess it doesn't have to, does it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. So, at least that's in my mind. That's what came in my mind. So, none of these like that are touching like this are the same color. Um, and there's nine. Nine of each of these. So, it took nine stacks of each color of clay. Good. Thank God for that clay biome that we found. Um, and so, yeah. So, this is big enough. If you guys remember this project, slowly but surely. This is going to be a 20 by 20. So, it's already a 20 by 20. By 20, so it has, still has to go up 20 high uh, cube of quartz. And so that's what this is going to be. This is going to be like my, uh, for now, this is going to house this project. Like I said, there still has to be something done around right here. Which, you know what? Um, I think I have the blocks to be able to do that. Let's go see. So just for now, I thought I'd use iron with redstone. I tried using ice, and I was thinking maybe I could use the... Stained glass, like I had to mention that I was going to maybe make this thing out of. Which I tried, but I just don't like it as much. So if I was thinking maybe here, 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 and here. Then we can make iron. And like so. Like so. And then um, I was thinking possibly doing something like this. Where it's just... Ooh, that corner has to be redstone. Just like this. Just to hold it. For now. This will probably be permanent, I guess. I shouldn't say just for now, because it will probably be the way of doing it. <laughs> um, but this is what I was thinking. Like that. I was thinking that could hold it. I was going to do quartz, but I don't have any quartz. Like right here, I was going to do quartz, uh, quartz pillars. But I just don't have any quartz to do it with, so... That's gonna. That's our. <laughs> that's our pedestal. That's our pedestal for our um, quartz blocks right now, and that's what's gonna hold it. So, as of right now, we don't have any sort of door. I need to make a door right there. That um, I don't know what I'm. What I'll do for that. Hmm. Maybe some like binary sequence switch sort of thing, where you have to have this correct binary numbers clicked. Could be an option. Could be an option. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this huge Rubik's Cube today. Um, a lot of clay went into it. <laughs> a lot. A lot. And it just like I said, it's going to house our quartz project for now. And then eventually, um, I plan on making it into the clay storage. This is, this is what I planned on having for the clay storage and like i said i was going to build this over there to house that but i have a little bit different ideas i want to do over there so ice machines going over there got those guys down there got this huge the rubik's cube just fills in a lot of space here so it's really nice to have here um and it's just kind of crazy i like it so like always guys i thank you guys for watching my name is vlsi dream big